In this video, I am going to explain ARM assembly language program to add two 64 bit numbers. So, the first line uh, is actually title program to add two 16 bit numbers. So, you can comment or you can remove the comment and write TTL. TTL means title of the program. So, you already know how to create a, a new file. So, you have to remove any old file and you have to go to source group in the project once you open a project okay right click add new item to the source group select asm file and type add 64 bit like that any name you can give uh, it will save asm file with the dot extension of dot s file so i already added the file blank uh, editor window will come after that you have to type this program okay for how to create new project you can refer my video step by step uh, semi language programming tutorial so there i explained how to create a new project and uh, you have to comment five lines in the lpc 17xx.s file okay five lines you have to comment so you can refer that video so here I am going to explain the first program in the new syllabus which is addition of two 16 bit number. So area is the label, addition is a label you can give any label okay addition of 64 bit or add 64 bit like that any label you can give it is a area and it is a code area and it is read only. So export underscore underscore mean export space you have to give then underscore two times underscore shift minus button underscore underscore mine this is small case small letter okay so because in the startup file we have load ldr ldr r not is equal to address is equal to underscore underscore mean so same label we have to use here and you have to export that so export space underscore underscore mean so fourth line is actually label underscore underscore mean so only labels and number declarations you have to give without any space so next first uh, two numbers you have to give that is in the code area only so num1 define constant uh, double word data define constant data which is a uh, 32 bit okay this is 0x this is 32 bit and this is another 32 bit so totally it is 64 bits num2 also two numbers consecutive locations okay 55533 is a 64 bit uh, this 6666 6, 6, 4, 4, 4 is a 64 bit actually this is 32 bit this is 32 bit lower 32 bit and upper 32 bit lower 32 bit and upper 32 bit so how we are going to load we can uh, that is left to you okay you can consider either this as a lsb or this as lsb but in memory if you write like this first 4 4 will store uh, i think let me let us, we can check it out that how it is stored there okay so first line load r not num1 so num1 will be copied to r not okay so let us see which one is actually it is taking whether 4 4 or 6 6 uh, as a lsb we can check it out once you execute step by step so after that num1 is actually the first number next data is num1 plus 4 because uh, each 32 bit is actually 4 bytes okay 32 divided by 8 is 4 1 byte is equal to 8 bits so uh, 32 bit 4 bytes of data will be there so next data will be from 4 num1 plus 4 so load r0 with num1 load r1 with num1 per byte okay now load r2 with num2 that is uh, num2 is this one and per byte num2 plus 4 that is in r3 so r0 r1 r2 r3 are loaded with uh, first data lower byte upper byte second data lower byte and upper byte after that we have to add first we are adding num1 and num2 okay so add r0 and r2 and store the answer in store the answer in r4 so the syntax of add r4 comma r0 comma r2 is first first register is actually destination so r4 is equal to it will add r0 plus r2 
okay and uh, this means update the flag or save the flag tradition if there is a carry and all you have to update the flags so after that next we added lower bytes now so next we have to add upper bytes uh, that is uh, another 32 bits we have to add so that we are storing in r5 so r5 is equal to you have to add r1 you have to r5 is the destination so it is equal to r1 plus r3 a d c is there so you have to add carry bit c bit also okay and answer will be stored in r5 so lower 32 bit answer is in r4 upper 32 bit answer is in r5 you have to store that in the result so in the result actually uh, we have to declare you have to write into that location now so you have to declare it in data memory so area the name of the area is a result it is a data memory where you can do read and write so read write without space you have to give so you should come in blue color okay see num1 and num2 labels you have to give without space in the beginning of the line and all other instructions you can observe you have to give at least one on space better use one on tab and you type the program so result is a so result and result don't use a say this is a upper case and there is a lower case so you can write here some are uh, any other things so see here this result is different this is result different. this is full capital letters this is uh, another one so you can use uh, some okay some uh, better you give different names don't uh, give area name and uh, variable name is same and it's a case sensitive you have to whatever you are writing i am writing capital s u m you have to write same thing previously it was full capital r e s u l t this was uh, uh, small letters so it is running so now see we loaded this to we added so now we have to save these numbers saved in r4 and r5 to this location some location so some location two locations are actually initialized with uh, and zero and zero okay uh, now store r4 content r4l we have addition of r0 and r2 the answer will be stored into the address specified by r0 in r0 we have taken load r0 is equal to address of sum so from r4 we have to store it into this address after that one more uh, upper 32 bit addition is there no? r5 so that also you have to store uh, store r5 into r0 uh, comma ash 4 so before transferring these two will be added r0 plus 4 addition because next four bytes uh, will be added so that next data will be stored in the next location otherwise you can also give r0 plus 4 also or r0 ash 4 you have to use so this will be added before transferring only it will be added and r5 content will be transferred to the location R0 address plus additional 4. So now compile this program. So 0 errors and 0 warnings. Start debug. Okay, this is step over F10 button you can press. Okay, it will go to the startup file. It loaded a value of uh, uh, does, uh, underscore underscore main into R0, that is 101. 0, 0, 0, 0. from that it will jump to that so the, the in our program we used underscore underscore mean that address is 101 0x 0, 0, 0, 0, so here next uh, we have uh, load r not num1 so you can see here here uh, The memory actually it is uh, the data are actually stored from one one four, okay, six six four four five five three three. Actually, your code program starts from one not one, okay. So your program starts from one not one. So these are the upcodes for other instructions, and actually your data starts from here. From here 666 six, six. that is 114 
from here you can see this is data so this is 6x is uh, r not num not this is upper byte lower byte upper byte okay so now we can store uh, we have to add now so first transfer or load r not with num1 num1 is now actually the pointer is pointing to this so 666 will copy it to r not register you can see r not register is having any some uh, previous address it is replaced with the num1 now num1 plus 4 so num1 plus 4 content uh, that is uh, num1 plus 4 is 444 that will be copied to r1 next num2 555 will be copied to r2 next uh, num2 plus 4 that is 3333 will be copied to r3 after that we are adding r0 and r2 that is uh, 666 is added with 555 you should get 11 11 means b in hexadecimal so that is coming in r4 after that if any carry is generated that bit will be set to 1 whether let me check whether any carry is generated or not carry is not generated so now we are adding r1 and r3 r1 is 4 r3 is 3 we are adding 4 4 4 4 4 plus 3 3 3 3 along with the carry bit 0 so that answer will be stored in r5 so 4 plus 3 is 7 should come there 7 is coming after that we have to we can see the output here only in r4 and r5 we can show the output this is uh, if they ask you to show only in memory register you can show this if you want to store it in uh, memory location we have declared sum as the variable and we have to store there so we have to get the address of sum so load r not with address of sum so normally it is 0x1 followed by seven zeros so same address will get load r not address of sum see here 0x1 followed by seven zero so in the memory you can open four memories in memory one you can type 0x1000 1 followed by seven zeros so there you it will be it will transfer first so whether you want to transfer um, first uh, seven there you have to move first r5 to that location next r4 to next location that is left to you we are transferring so i am transferring first data r4 that is uh, uh, lower byte we added now that answer will be transferred first so bbb will go to that location see here observe here it uh, that uh, r4 content we transferred next to r5 should content should be transferred to r0 plus 4 so this is r0 still it is 1000 plus 4 means from here after 4 bytes next data starts from this location so 777 will be moved there so this is how to verify the data addition of two 16 bit number if you want to move uh, this is lower byte first this is a uh, upper byte here also this is lower byte this is upper byte okay thank you